naturally Rhonda here for all my old time subscribers I love you love you so much thank you for coming back to watch my videos and if you're new here welcome 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 come on in please stay a while and check out some of my other content if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please click that button down below and subscribe so today I will be doing a one and done, a one product wash and go. Carol's daughter, Prakaxi, Prakaxi. I really don't know how to pronounce this word. I'm sorry, y'all. Prakaxi Nectar Style and Control Gel. This gel has that oil that I am butchering and I do not know how to pronounce. <laughs> Acai extract and castor oil. This claims to be a moisturizing gel that leaves the hair with a touchable hold. So we'll see how this turns out. All the products in this month's curl box were from Carol's Daughter. If you haven't seen that unboxing video and you're interested in the other products that we received, I will leave that down below in the description as well as up above in the cards. My hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned and detangled. So let's just hop into the wash and go. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I always like to apply my products to wet hair. I don't know what I did to my spray bottle, but it's like when I spray, it's pinching over here. I think I'm just gonna need to get a new one. I already had to swap out the top because I dropped it and I broke the top. So I took this top off of another bottle. I'm just gonna have to buy a new one. I got this from Sally's. Hopefully I can find another cute one because this one is really cute. It says keep calm and style on. Let's start off with about this much of the gel. It's thick, but not as thick as like eco or wet line yeah i'm definitely gonna need some more because i don't feel like i put anything in my hair to be honest it it just feels wet like all right so i subsectioned and applied even more gel and this is what i'm working with um i'm gonna be honest with y'all my first thought was okay i can layer this i can put wet line or eco even on top of this and get a lot of definition. But then I also remember that this is a review on this product. So if I were to put wet line or eco on top of this, those gels would overpower this one. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stick to this. I'm gonna do my small sections. I really have a feeling that this is gonna be a big wash and go, which I love too. We're just gonna see what this does on its own. I'm gonna continue with these same steps and I will be back when the product is all in. So the product is all in. I pretty much use this entire eight ounce container and this is what my wet hair is looking like. I'm just gonna sit under my hooded dryer and I will be back when it's all dry. 
All right, I am back and I was under the dryer for about 30, 40 minutes, but then I had to go to the grocery store. So I just air dried the rest of the way. And these are my finished results. So I'm a big fan of this wash and go. Like I predicted, it is super big and voluminous, but I also have some definition too. So I'm really not mad at this. The only issue that I have is that I basically had to use the whole tube to get this, which I mean, I have a lot of hair. It is what it is, it happens. Have any of y'all tried out this gel yet? If you have, let me know what you think. How were your results? Did you do a wash and go? Cause I guess I could have also done a twist out. That would have been super cute with this too. There is a hold, like the slightest bit of a crunch, but to me it's not even really a crunch. So I didn't even scrunch it out. I'm just gonna let my hair do what it do. I did use the shampoo and the conditioner and I am a big, big fan. The shampoo, so I'm washing my hair. Then next thing I know, I'm like finger detangling with the shampoo and I'm not a finger detangler at all, but the shampoo had slipped. But I ended up detangling for real, for real with the conditioner. I used the soap once. I don't really wanna give my full review on that until I use it a few more times. I'll probably just end up doing it on my Insta stories. So I don't wanna do a whole video just on that i'll put it on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram you should be my instagram is at naturally ronda that's about it for this wash and go wednesday this is the moment in the video where i like to point your attention to some of my other content like one of my most defined wash and goes and another voluminous wash and go i love you for watching y'all please be safe out there and i'll see you in the next one